it looks like everything's on track. Uh, where's Tracy? I thought she was down here. I haven't seen her. Bah humbug is what I say to that. You know what I want you to do? I want you to stay up all night because that proposal has to be on my desk Excuse in me. the... Miss Quartermain is busy, so that proposal needs to be on her desk very, very soon. <clears throat> there. No, no, I have a business to run. You have a wedding. You're not even dressed. I'm not undressed. Do you know what this jacket cost me? Tracy, it's completely inappropriate. Oh, and you would rather have me in some poofty number so I look really pathetic when Luke ditches me? That's not going to happen. My dad loves you. Lulu, your dad loves my money, and there's no way he's going to sign it away in a prenup. I don't know what's happened to you. You've changed. You used to be so anti-establishment, anti-tradition, anti-authority. But now look at you. You used to be on my side. Well, you know, I still have all those things, and I am on your side. But you could give up trying to push my guilt button, mate. I don't have one. Hello, hello. Oh, who's this? Oh, yeah. My other traitorous son. Be nice or I won't feed you. You trying to make a break for it? Nope, haven't given him a chance. No, keeping some poor hapless fool at a place without telling him you're going to do it, not letting him leave, not giving him any alcoholic beverage. This could be called kidnapping. I could have you both arrested. Yeah, I don't know if you could do that. I don't yeah. think Lucky's gonna arrest himself. No, or you. Oh. Not anymore, anyway. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you'd have to make it all the way down to the PCPD. Yeah. And uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Since we're not gonna let you out of our sight. Yeah, if you even try to run for the door, I'm telling you, we're gonna we'll take, take you down. down. Yeah, we will. <laughs> take you down. <laughs> Coffee, anyone? Oh, why not? Hey, Tracy, you can stop the cynicism just for a day, especially on such a triumphant one. Triumphant? You're getting everything you want. Luke is marrying you for real, and on such a splashy ceremony. He's even footing the bill, okay? So you need to be doing the happy dance instead of barking and snarling and expecting the worst. I know Luke better than you do, and his need to self-destruct will always, for lack of a better word, triumph. It's okay. I accept it. I have a strong constitution. I can... I have a high tolerance for pain. I can take the humiliation, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna take it looking like some ridiculous prom queen. Tracy, Tracy, come on, have some faith in my dad. He doesn't give his heart away easily to anyone, but he gave it to you because he loves you. And there's gonna be a wedding, so you need to go upstairs and get ready. Help! Hostage? Really? <laughs> I mean, you know I want to marry Tracy. Come on. Yeah. I've made a thousand asses of myself trying to get to her to agree to marry me. I've done everything I could. I paid for this NASA exploration. Believe me, it's not been inexpensive, even with the smuggled booze. Pardon my French. I just want to marry her and have it, have it done with. Why would I run out on something that I put into motion? That's what you do, Dad. Yeah, especially if that thing you're running out on might actually make you happy. How much do I owe you for the psychiatric examination, doctor? We're trying to save you from your worst self, patient. No, that's a matter of perspective, isn't it? You know what? Have some coffee. Just relax. Don't overthink it. Here. Is it Irish? There's no booze in my house, Dad. Pardon the French. What good are you? And you! You always carry a flask. Where is it? It got confiscated in the pat down. <sighs> I don't know how I ended up with two such un uh, ingrateful <laughs> ingrates as sons. Well, I think you're, you're going to thank us once you officially become Mr. Tracy Quarterman. I don't think so. You know what that means? What? If you marry Tracy, see, I'm married to Maya. Now, Maya's Tracy's niece, a few times removed. So that would make you my uncle, Dad. I'm glad we're all having a good laugh. You know what? Let's get the uh, tuxes going here. We have a wedding to pull off. Oh, yeah. All right, 
we have musicians. We are waiting for a minister. Yeah, and a groom, and a properly dressed bride. Should I go check on her? You afraid she repelled out of a window? Or locked herself in the bathroom? Yeah, well, I can't blame Tracy for being skittish. I mean, Luke is unpredictable on a good day. God, if he doesn't show, not only will she be horribly hurt, but she will be mortified. Which for Tracy would be worse, but that's not gonna happen <sighs> because my dad will be here. He knows what it would do to Tracy if he jilted her, and I was a bridesmaid at my dad's wedding to my mom a few years back. But that was about as real as my dad's wedding to Tracy in Vegas. So it seems my dad can only be married when he's not really married. And now I'm actually worried because my dad could be halfway around the country by now, which means Tracy would never show her face oh, outside this house again. Tracy Quartermain hides from nothing. Hard to tell from that outfit you're wearing. Yeah, what kind of a coward orders a custom wedding gown and then chickens out when it's time to put it on? Seriously, you're calling me a coward? I'm calling you a bride. It's your wedding day. Why don't you start acting like it? He'll be here. I don't share your optimism. However, if my face is gonna get left hanging out, I suppose the rest of me might as well look good. And when this mortifying day is mercifully over, I know what, I can start a bonfire and we can burn the dress. I'll go put it on. Okay, I'm monkeyed up. Ready for my banana daiquiri. Dad, you uh, promised to marry Tracy sober, remember? Well, I'm not talking about tying one on. I just thought maybe we could stop at Jake's to toast my rosy future. No, I think you'd just get toasted, and then Tracy would dump you like a bad habit. Mm -hmm. You two are like a couple of humorless undertakers. Come on, you know I want to marry Tracy. I just need a little liquid refreshment so that when I get at the altar and I say all that soppy, sentimental slop, it just comes triplingly on the tongue. You don't need all that, Dad. You're not giving yourself enough credit. It's just going to come from your heart. I just want it to be over so I can get to the boozy reception. No, you just want to be gone, maybe. <laughs> if that's what Luke wants, I'll take him to the airport right now. Hey, so I'm not sure what's going on, but Edward has Luke locked in the den. Oh, well, at least we know Dad didn't opt for that ride to the airport that Edward offered. What? Okay. Alice, what's wrong? Did someone die? Oh, God, I hope not. Mr. Luke is so vital, and I'm just so worried that if he marries that Banshee for reals that she's just gonna destroy him completely. I mean, Mr. Lucky, you're so lucky to have Mr. Luke as a father. I mean, he really is the most wonderful man I've ever met, and he's just gonna waste himself on that Tracy Quartermain. You know, she's gonna snip his woo as soon as she can. Not if I have something to do about it. You tell Mr. Luke that Big Alice has got his back, and whatever he needs, I'm gonna make sure he gets. You tell Mr. Luke, ask, and he shall receive. We'll be sure to pass that along. You do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's gonna be quite a night. Yeah. Unless Luke decides to make a run for it. Oh, Dad's here. Huh? Mm -hmm. I could talk to you for a second. Yeah. Oh. Spielberg. Okay. Uh, have you heard anything more about Jerry at all? No. All we know is that he was shot and he fell in the water. I heard that there was an eyewitness. Yes, and I can vouch for her reliability. You know this person? I do, yeah. Uh, I guess part of me is hoping that he made it out alive. Very small part of me. Old habits die hard, I guess. Yeah, look, I get it, man. I mean, Jerry may be a monster to the rest of the world, but he's still your brother, and blood is blood, you know? Yeah, I appreciate you understanding that. You better get back to your guests. Thanks. Hey, Jax, um, try to enjoy the wedding. I mean, if nothing else, it should be entertaining. Right. Yeah. What you doing? Um, just last minute instructions. This is a new project? Huh? I said, new project. You've been awfully busy on that thing. Is that the reason you ran out earlier? Yes, it is. That's all you get to know. Chalk it up to Christmas, a season of surprises. 
You know how much I love surprises. Yes, I know, especially mm -hmm. when you're about to unleash them on someone else. Hmm. Want to get a drink? I'd love a drink. Well, I'm sure Lulu will be very, very happy to see you. Yeah, if, uh, you know, if me being here makes you uncomfortable, I don't no, no, understand. No, we, we've already been through this, and I'm totally fine. Besides, you're not the one I'm worried about today. So, um, what do you think the chances of this wedding actually coming off are? Well, the groom's in the den, the bride's upstairs, I and mean, we choose to see that as progress. Excuse me. You are a vision. <laughs> Thanks. You look very nice yourself. You know, I looked in the mirror and thought, this bridesmaid's dress is a lot nicer than the one I had on in Vegas, which I don't really remember what it was or the ceremony. But... Yeah, sorry about that. Every bride should remember her wedding, but that dress was very nice. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. I'll take part of my cut of Edward's million and uh, make it up to you. How's Tracy? Well, when I told her Luke was here, she got even more nervous. But luckily, Lulu has more calming influence. Not me. I just needed a break. How's Luke? Well, he's in the den, jonesing for a drink, as am I. Hmm. You know, wouldn't it be ironic if after all this fuss over Luke, the bride bolts instead of the groom? Oh, for Pete's sake, here. No, no, no. Tracy made conditions. I have no booze till after the trap is sprung. I agreed. I'm a man of my word. I shall honor it. Huh. Since when? I have my moments. Hmm. Would you show the same admirable restraint if I put a check for a few million in your hand? Stop dangling. If you're making a bribe, come out and say it. I am. I want you to name your price and then disappear for good. Pass. That's your final answer? Yep. Then you did pass. You see, it was just a test. Now to the meat of the matter. I'm going to be living in this house now, and there are certain rules of my own that must be followed. Really? Let's hear them. Well, first, my cigars. And then, then my, my, my smoking jacket. And certain restrictions will be put on your consumption of my reserve scotch. And your monopolizing of Alice's time. That's it? Well, asking for anything more would be just asking to be double-crossed. Well, I'm impressed, Edward. You're being unusually reasonable. No, I'm resigned. You know, for some unfathomable reason, you and Tracy seem to make each other happy. You should be married. But I'm warning you, if you break my daughter's heart another time, I'll... No, I'm not even going to threaten you, because if you do, the guilt will eat away at whatever's left of that, that heart of yours. Oh, Natasha, you look lovely. I'm not so sure about that accessory. Oh, there is a, there's another matter that must be tended to before the ceremony can proceed. You look especially handsome today. Here's the prenup Tracy required. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, no signature, no ceremony. It's your moment of truth, Luke. Do you love my daughter? Or is it always just about the money? 